Hello, how are you? Well, the summer is going away and uh, winter is coming. But before that, of course, we have the autumn or the fall, right? Today's first idiom is two stick to. It means to uh, adhere to or preserver or to be constant. Uh, for example, let's see. Um, cheap sticky tape, or I would say cellulose tape, or some people might say adhesive tapes don't stick to uh, the surface of uh, cartoon boxes well enough so it's no point getting them because if you get it uh you feel like uh, you got stuck because they don't work so it's better to get um better uh tapes i would say they might be more expensive but you can trust their brand Okay, the second uh, sentence I would say is, for example, okay, my cousin never sticks to anything very long. So within the last two years, uh, he has had 10 jobs, means Okay, you get it, you quit, and again, look for a new one, but I couldn't stick with it, so again, look for a new one. Don't you know those kind of people? And sometimes people also play games on uh, relationship development. You know, some people just cannot uh, stick to one person always looking for new love fair or new boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever. Okay, the next idiom is to stick. It means to, well, to stick someone or to stick, uh, well, especially some people or company whatever it means to cheat someone mm, that's not a good thing but i've been in that situation quite a few times in my life for example uh, a good friend of mine told me to be careful dealing with her i wouldn't say who that was, but I just say her because uh, she would stick me at the first opportunity. And unfortunately, that happened to me. I was a stop. Okay, another sentence. For example, um, my landlord you know, certainly stuck me when I moved into this apartment. I've had trouble uh, with it constantly. And that's the truth. Okay, the last idiom for today is to get stuck. It means to be cheated, to become uh, cheated or also to be burdened with something for example okay I suddenly got a stock when I moved into this apartment as you know uh, I had a problem with the air conditioner the toilet the shower electric bill 
things, you know, I've been paying two different electric power bills. That's very strange and stupid. Uh, also, I had a hole in the wall where the ants from one side gush into my kitchen and constant problems. And uh, I didn't have any roof over uh, in front of the, the doors. So that every time when I have to go out in the rainy days, I have to hold an umbrella uh, before I open the door. Isn't that a, that was crazy. And it took me 10 years to have the roof in front of my front door of the entrance of my apartment. And until then, you know, I've often asked, but I, just a hint of a day. And now I have two air conditioners that are working. They don't. So I'm having a very hard time this summer. And my, um, you know, doorbell doesn't work. And he doesn't care. Oh, I tell you. Some people are so stingy and they don't care. And they just love collecting money from poor people like me. Okay, today's words. The first one is economical. For example, the city government made the international centers aware of the need to be more economical. That means uh, not wasting money or time. Uh, Mr. Kowalski was praised for his economical management of the budget. But then I would hate to work under such a person because uh, you just gonna be in the, you know end up not having or making enough money for too much burden or work. Okay, next word is uh, lubricate. It means to make especially machinery smooth and easy to work by putting on oil, grease, or a similar substance. For example, uh, the bulky airplane engines need to be lubricated with uh, tons of grease every time they fly and after they fly. Okay, a uh, large quantity of uh, lubrication or uh, the grease or oil is needed to be lubricated uh, on, I would say, the large engines of uh, dumper trucks or uh, low rates, you would say. Okay. Um, a large pendulum clock and a grandfather clock. Uh, need to be also lubricated, then they keep more accurate time. The last word for today is ingenious. That means having great mental ability or being clever. It means very smart, bright. Uh, some people, especially Politicians devised, I would say, ingenious plans to cheat on their income tax. Isn't that very true? Okay, um, let's see. Okay, some famous Jewish people like Bill Gates and Stephen Jobs.
Wang, famed for their ingenious inventions, right? Also, uh, Ms. Ruth Bader uh, Ginsburg, who died recently, but she was for uh, her, I would say, ingeniousness. And we miss her very much. Okay, that's for all today. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.